So coming back to uh, what has come in the budget, so budget more so has come from an import and export perspective, that is customs. So first important amendment they have brought out is introduction of electronic credit ledger. This was never a concept of electronic credit ledger under the customs law. What is electronic credit ledger? So I don't know how, whether you are aware of that in the scheme called Merchandise Export Incentive Scheme. This is like if, if you are exporting anything out of the country, any goods, you get one uh, license from the uh, Ministry of Commerce that probably you can use it for your own import or you can sell in the market. Now, <laughs> this particular incentive per se, since India has now become a developed country, uh, the WTO doesn't allow this kind of incentive to a developed country. So, India is now trying to, so this NEI scheme is still only 31, 3, 2020, and the scheme is going, that will be replaced by the new scheme, which is road tax, repeat of taxes and duties. So, of course, the framework is going on that whatever taxes you are incurring, if you are exporting goods, that would be given back to you. So, this road tax, whatever taxes what you are incurring, which would be given back to you, would be given into your electronic trade ledger. That electronic trade ledger, you can use it or pay your input. So, this is one important amendment they have brought in this particular budget. The other uh, important uh, amendment they have brought is with respect to preferential rate uh, changes. So like under the FTA agreement, if, like, if you are aware of this FTA agreement, if I am, like if India is having agreement with let's say Sri Lanka and uh, if the goods are coming from Sri Lanka, they are at a concessional rate. Now the only challenge there to prove that whether it is coming from Sri Lanka or not, the chamber there will issue one uh, certificate of origin. That's the document on the basis of which custom officer out here will assess that as a consistent way. And a lot of, you know, uh, main practices are going on on this particular thing because like, <coughs> you know, goods may come from some other country, it will come to Sri Lanka and then it will come to India and it will get a consistent way. So in this particular budget, they have given a huge empower to the assessing officer to actually examine that, uh, okay, just not the country of origin certificate will do. He has been given a power to ask for the information, to see to it that, okay, from where this raw material have come, he can see what kind of information with respect to that particular group. So that empowerment has been given in this particular act. So hopefully, uh, I mean, uh, once this would be enacted, the custom officer will have more power to look into this and once they are satisfied then only things would be uh, and be imported.